from Tuesday Music and today is episode 4 of Tuesday Tuesday. Well guys, in case you missed the other three, they are all on my, my channel so you can get caught up there. And uh, once again, thanks guys for watching Tuesday Tuesday. I've gotten a lot of great feedback, especially from the show uh, last week. And uh, if you haven't tried out the pasta, it is a challenge. Yes, yes, we did talk about pasta and I gave you guys a recipe that I invented. So yeah, take the challenge, make the pasta salad and, uh, you know, share me with the picture, share a picture with me that I can share with everyone and tell me what you think about it. Anyways, guys, so that was last week's show. We were talking about calming down. You know, we had pet beef the other week and we we're talking about how to calm down. Today is a brand new topic. Of course, you know, the topics are intertwined but today we are talking about what do you think look at the atmosphere guys we are talking about love and not just any kind of a love but self love well you wonder what is that anyways let me let me give you a little bit of background of my little decoration here so when I prepared this topic, I was like, oh, it'll be so, the first thing that came to my mind would be so great to actually do this show in Paris, of course, because it is the city of love, right? Uh, but of course, with COVID-19 and with my butt, budget is a little short, <laughs> I can't do that. So I was like, you know what, I will probably do something with Paris, Ontario, since we have Paris, Ontario here. Went to Paris, Ontario, oh my goodness. It was cold, so I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to formulate my own little city of love right here in my kitchen. And, uh, well, hope you like it. Appreciate it. Okay? Had the candles. Smells lovely. And a little bit of red. I was going to put on red, but I figured it would be a little too much. So, anyways, moving on to our show for today. I'm super excited for this topic. So, we are talking about self-love today. And as I said from the beginning, it is episode four, four guys. Um, so just in case you're wondering what is Tuesday Tuesday. So Tuesday Tuesday is a day that we have fun together. We inspire each other, we learn from each other, as well as learning to love ourselves enough that we can love on other people. So uh, guys, once again, we're gonna be digging in to self-love. So we're gonna start by defining what self-love is. So, by the way, before I move forward, guys, if you have not subscribed to Tuesday Music, please press that right button and subscribe. If you love what you hear today, don't forget to comment or press the like. That's great too. Okay, moving on, moving on. We are going to be talking about self-love. So self-love, defining self-love as per the dictionary. So it says self-love means, and by the way, guys, I have a whole brand new, like uh, I'm using my computer slash tablet today instead of my cell phone for my notes. So you will see me looking down here is because I have my notes on here. So anyways, we're going to define self-love. So self-love means having high regard for your own well-being and happiness. It also means taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well-being to please others. Self-love also means not settling for less than you deserve. Okay, so there's a lot there. So for sure, having high regard for yourself and your, your own well-being and happiness, taking care of your own needs, not sacrificing yours to please someone else's, and of course, not settling for less than you deserve. So, those are all amazing things. And guys, I just want to ask this question to you. You know, you're watching right now. Can you boldly tell yourself, like use this phrase, I love me. Can you boldly tell yourself, I love me. You know, I wrote a song called Just That. I love me. That's the title of the song. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't go thinking ahead of yourself. No, you're thinking it's probably one that's coming out very soon. No, no, no. This song is not the one coming out. It has nothing. Nice try though, but it is not the one coming out. But anyways, I, I brought that out because in this song, it talks about how difficult it is to actually say those three words to oneself. 
but it also in the song the song also go ahead to to say that once you figure out how to love yourself there's no going back because there is power there is power in loving yourself so i want to share with you guys this is a song done by whitney houston bless her soul you guys know she was one of my that's one other day i loved her anyways um so this song was done by whitney houston and it's called greatest love of all if you have not listened to it it's totally worth a listen it's a beautiful song and in that song she said the greatest love of all is learning to love yourself. How, 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 how sweet is that? That just sums up our whole topic today, self-love. It is the greatest, greatest love of all. Okay, guys, before we go more deep into our topic, it's Tuesday joke time. I am going to share this joke with you guys. I think it's pretty funny. I try to find a joke about self-love and apparently they're way over my head or, uh, yeah. But this one I found, I thought it was pretty cool. So here you go, Tuesday joke time. So a child asks his father, how were people born? And his father replied, you know, there was Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve, they had the babies, and then the babies had a baby, and so on and so forth. So this child went to his mom in the kitchen as well. After he was done talking to his dad, he ran over to his mom in the kitchen and asked his mom, how were people born? And his mom, this, he asked his mom the exact same question, and she answered, she said, you know, we were monkeys. Then we evolve and become like we are now. So this kid... It's a little confused. He ran out to his dad. You lied to me. You lied to me, he said to his father. And his father replied. He said, no, I didn't lie to you. Your mother was talking about her side of the family. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did you get it? Anyways, oh, my goodness. That is totally a joke of the week. Anyways, the point of the joke was so that you can laugh along with me, so I hope you did that. Um, so anyways, moving back to uh, self-love. <laughs> oh my God, that's a funny joke. Anyways, very funny. Um, so moving back to self-love, guys. So we were just saying that there is power in loving yourself. Like Whitney plainly described it, the greatest love of all is learning to love yourself. So, here's another question. How many of us look into the mirror to see if we are beautiful? How many of us look into the mirror to see if we are beautiful? And by the way, I just want to put it out there. If there's any mirrors company out there, I have a great idea so, that I would like to share with you. And I think you're going to get a lot of money for us. So, contact me. Direct message me and I'll give you my idea. But anyways, guys, how many of us look into the mirror to see if we are beautiful? How many of us look to others to tell us we are beautiful? Or better yet, to feel love? How many of us? Okay, if you don't want to answer that question, here's another one. Have you ever gotten your hair done and you loved it so much, but then you post it on social media, you send a picture to some of your friends, and then you, you get home and you're hoping that when your partner, your boyfriend, your, your girlfriend, or your husband or wife comes home, they will notice that you got your hair done. How many of us do that? Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say it's wrong to actually show amazing things about ourselves. I think it's actually great. But why? Why are you posting that picture on social media? I think it's the why that actually makes all the difference. Why are you sharing that picture? Why did you send it to your friends? Why do you want your partner to notice so bad. Is it because you love it so much that you want to share it? Or is it because 
you are looking for their approval. You answer that. I can't answer that for you, but why? Why do we do it? Think about it. You know, what happens if someone gives you a thumbs down from that picture of that hair that you love so much and post on social media? What happens if someone gives you a thumbs down? Think about that. So guys, it is so, so important, so important to love ourselves. As Whitney said, the greatest love of all is learning to love yourself. But not just that, but because the simple truth is that you cannot care for others until you take care of yourself first. When you fully love yourself, it gives you an opportunity to have deeper, deeper compassion for others. And, you know, I know I sound maybe, by the way, I just want to get this out there. As you guys know, I am no expert. This is Tuesday from Goosey Music. I am a singer, songwriter, and a full-time nurse. And this is, like I said from the very beginning, this is me sharing things with you that has inspired us to help others has helped me and we are just inspiring each other but just because I'm sharing topic about self-love with you guys don't get me wrong don't go thinking Tuesday has it all figured out because yeah no 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 I don't and actually to be honest with you I actually struggle with self-love with loving myself sometimes I actually struggle with that and uh, sometimes it's so much so that I have a daughter that, you know, I'll share this with you. So my daughter, she, my older daughter, she is a realist. Unless when it comes to Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this child, she, my daughter, she had a very best friend. And her best friend have moved away. So they don't, they're not in as much of a communication anymore. However, I have been telling her, you know, since your friend... It's not here anymore. Try to find new friends. And uh, try to make new friends. And the last time when I talked to her, she told me, you know, mom, almost all the kids in my class swears. And if there's anything that kid does not like, it's people swearing. So I was like, you know, why don't you just tell them you don't like swearing? But when I was doing this, uh, you know, when I was, and, and, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep asking her to make friends and bugging her. But when I started to you know, read about self-love and actually discuss this topic with you. It hit me. And it's like, I started to ask myself, why? Like, you know, I, I think it's absolutely amazing for, for kids to have friends. I think it's great. I, I, I know very much as a parent, I want her to have friends. But I ask myself, why? Is it because it is good? Is it just because I know that it is actually really good for her to have friends? Or is it because it's the way of the world knowing that she's accepted? So yes, I am still learning about self-love myself. And, and uh, as we go through this, this has been like totally an eye-opener for me. And I hope it will be as worth for you. And like I said from the very beginning, guys, Tuesday, Tuesdays, even though it's called Tuesday Tuesday, it's a, it's, a, it's a show. My hope is that we can all inspire each other. So this is self-love. If you have anything, you know, I'm going to be covering some things. But if there's something that I missed and you're like, oh, you know what? This has actually really helped me. Please feel free. You can put it in the comments or send me a direct message. And we, there are, we are out here. There are people out here. And I can share it with, uh, and we will all be willing to hear that. So self-love is absolutely an amazing thing. So I'm just going to share some examples of self-love. There's a lot out there. But these are a few that I actually wanted to share with you. So you ask, how do you self-love? You know, we already defined self-love, which was a great definition, by the way. But some examples of it is having a positive view. Having a positive view of yourself and being confident in yourself. You know, that is so easier said than done. I know that. But guys, it is. 
it is a key factor of self-love, having a positive view of yourself and being confident in yourself. Also, having an instinct and a desire to promote your own well-being. You know, having a high regard for yourself as well as having pride in yourself. And please, please don't abuse the word pride. Pride is a great thing, but it gets abused so many times, and that, that is another show of ours. I'm not going to dig too much into it, but having pride for yourself is a great thing. But remember, don't abuse pride. Um, and also, last but not least, having values and loving yourself. Have value and love yourself. You know, self-love sounds so easy, but it's not. Otherwise, there wouldn't be psychiatrists, there wouldn't be social workers, and there wouldn't be psychologists. I know there's a lot of other disciplines out there. But it is actually very difficult to do. But yeah, it is indeed the greatest thing that you could do for yourself. And... Uh, while I'm talking about self I just wanted to throw this out here that I actually was talking to one of my friends who is also a co-worker of mine. Her name is actually Amy Moles. And uh, she happened to be one of the authors of uh, the self, like, self Love Club Volume 2. And what that book is, is actually stories from different women, you know, uh, writing about their journey to self-love. And... Uh, we were just talking about this, so I was like, wow, God, this girl, like, I'm so excited for her that she's on this book. I thought it was amazing, and she's a great supporter of me as well. Uh, and uh, it's just really cool to see what people, you know, in your, your co-workers and stuff, not just being nurses, but there's all this stuff that they do. Everybody has some kind of a hitting and talent and stuff, which is really cool. But anyway, so we got talking, so I was just telling her, wow, great job, girl, on the book. And I'm like, wow, self-love, that's tough stuff. And uh, I don't really have her exact words, but this is what it sums out to when she, when she, what she told me. She said, she told me self-love is a process that we learn every day. And this is from an author, one of the authors that wrote the book, Self-Love Club. So self-love, it is a process and we learn it every day. So, I just want to tell you guys that, to be honest, I have not read the book. So, uh, it, it sounds like a great read, but I have not read it. I have ordered the book. I just haven't gotten in mind yet, and I'm looking forward to actually reading it. But, there is something at the end of the book, at the back of the book. You know, when you go on to Amazon to order the book. At the back of the book, there is a sentence that I wanted to share with you guys. And just following up with what she told me. It said... The journey into self-love does not have a finish line. And guys, I think it's a great thing that, you know, it's something that we, we learn every day. And, you know, it's like practice make perfect. Every day, every day we learn it. And the more we do it, the better we get at it. And remember, like I said, I struggle with it too. And if you struggle with it, this is a wake-up call. It's okay. This is, we all starting together, and uh, we are going to go on this journey to self-love, to love ourselves. So, guys, I want to leave you with a challenge. And uh, this is a challenge. This is a self-love challenge. So this is what the challenge is. You're going to get a journal. I'm going to get a journal too as well. And the challenge is you are to write down five things, five things daily that you love about yourself. So let me say that again. So the challenge is if you don't already have a journal, get yourself a journal. And it doesn't have to be a paper journal. You know, a lot of us do things on our phone. You can use your notes. You can use different things. But write down every day. Five things, just five, that you like about yourself. And uh, if, in case you're wondering, can you use the same thing over and over? Yeah, it's okay. It can be repetitive. 
If you just like your hair and the way you smile and you want to keep saying that, that's fine. Just make it five things. And you know what? It's actually great to have repetition. I actually heard this is how advertisement works. Because the more you say something and the more you hear something, you begin, you start to believe it. And then you start to live it. So guys, I encourage you. This is a challenge. Please take the challenge. Get a journal. Write five things daily that you love about yourself. We're talking about self-love. And if you have a friend, a family member, you know, we are not alone. There's a lot of people. Self-love, as I said, it sounds so easy, but there's a lot of us that struggle with it. And you know what? Like the experts say, the people who's been writing about self-love, they self-admitted it. It does not have a finish line. So somebody, everyone wants to, to, to uh, get better at, at it. So encourage your friends and families to join the challenge. I will be taking the challenge as well, writing five things about myself daily. And uh, yeah, so uh, like I was saying, feel, feel free to make it repetitive. But of course, if you want to... Uh, spice it up sometimes you want to switch it up sometimes that's fine too and uh, of course as I've said from the beginning guys I'm no expert this is me sharing things that has inspired me and inspired others however if you are really having difficulty with this you know seek the experts you know there's people out there that can help you and thank you so much guys for watching Again, this has been Tuesday Tuesday. And by the way, let me give you guys a little sneak peek. So next week, we are going to continue on our self-love journey. You know, we said it is so difficult. Like, you know, it's not easy. And next week, we're going to be following up with how, how we can stay on that journey to self, to loving ourselves. And I want to close with a quote. Let me just find it for you here. So... I found this quote and I thought it was really, really cute. So this is what it says. It says, be the kind of woman that when your feet hit the floor every morning, the devil says, oh crap, she's up. And you can switch that up to a guy. Be the kind of guy that when your feet hit the floor each morning, the devil says, Oh crap, he's up. Thank you guys. Love you guys so much. This has been Tuesday from Tuesday Music, and this is Tuesday Tuesdays. Mwah!